to do a brow sort of routine i wanted to talk about my brows i want to try to make this really quick because i haven't done my brows in well over six or seven months because um basically on my birthday the lady who did it fucked them up and made them extremely thin but then they were like crooked and there was no way for her to fix it without fucking it up more so i went through a really ugly stage and a very lot a very lot a lot a lot of concealer i wouldn't recommend it because you should try to do it but i was i'm very picky about my brows and i want thick brows and i also want them long and i want an arch and i feel like in order to get what you desire it takes a lot of uh willpower to use a lot of concealer and like i would never leave the house unless i had concealer and brow and stuff like that so now that they have been maintenanced um i actually did get them thread and i told her specifically i want them long i want them clean and i still like to keep my arch they're obviously not perfect i feel like they are um they're sisters you know they're 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 homies you know i think let's get into these brows so i like to examine my brows by brushing them up first and saying, you know, what do I like, don't like, and then we could go from there. So, with the, I usually start with this brow, but I think I'm going to start with this one just because I feel like it needs the most work. So, I'm brushing it in the direction that I feel like I essentially will want the brow to go. It's also doing like a curve on here, but it could be because this, this whole eye is just like a little bit lower in a sense. Um, and I also have monolids, so I'll try to take all those things into account when I'm doing my brows. Two spoolies, one with an actual um, brush at the end, which I will show you. This one has, let me show you, just show it back here. So I have this, and then I just have a spoolie, and then I have two options of brow products. And I always have concealer, sometimes a light and a dark. I have a light and a dark because the light I usually have under here and the darker at the top just so that it matches with the rest of the foundation. And I do use a brow gel. Um, right now I'm using the Kush Clear Brow Gel which I actually really like and I did buy the new uh, Gimme Brow. I got it on sale at Ulta. It's, it was worth it. More like loose in the sense of like not having too much brow product because I feel like people who start their brows right here don't understand that that becomes a focal point and when you stare you're like yo your brows are crazy. They just like don't understand it. I don't understand it. I never start that way. So I always start at the top. I'm not a bottom person just because there's always been a lot of hair at the bottom. So I'm luckily blessed to have that. And so for me, the top of the brow is usually what gets cut during threading or waxing or whatever procedure you use to do your brows. I find that it just, I don't know. I just feel like there's never really like enough hair to be substantial enough to like create the sort of shape that you're looking for. So I'm I'm a little bit more hard hand or heavy handed towards the middle going the back and then creating the arch. I do touch the front, but I just do it lightly. And then once I feel like the shape is sort of coming together, I will go back in with the spoolie, this one that has the brush on it, and then I will start to brush up and see if one, it made the shape that I want to. Even if it didn't, more than likely I will just go with the flow because I I'm already like liking it so I'm a little brushing down a little bit here and here and here and so this brow doesn't need a lot of work because it's ideal it's got a lot of hair here it reaches the arch and it it's at the tail end that I like so I will just start actually at the front and just create just a little definition here and brush up uh, I mean and, and put put it up um, and then I will go here so I don't know if you noticed with this brow I treated it different I didn't brush the hairs down because the hairs here um, grow every which way and this one doesn't it grows the which the way that I want it has a perfect arch that I like so I just try to work with what it has going on every once in a while I do Go back a little bit so i'll push these hairs this way and make sure that i am creating uh the arch that i like and fill it in a little bit i went a little heavy and i don't try to use concealer for this because i feel like it's sort of a waste of product and the product is creamy enough that i could just use my finger and now it's created like the brows that i want So the brows are okay um 
I like, like I said, I like to go back, especially during my makeup routine, and sort of decide from there, do I like it? From there. And then I'm going to just put the top on this, and I'm going to stop because the product is running low, and I don't want to run out, and I don't know if I'm going to, you know, want to add more to my makeup later, I mean to my brows later. I'm brushing up in the in the shape that I want to, and then before I set them, I actually don't set them until I'm done with my entire makeup routine because I prefer it that way. Since I did that, I'm going to go in actually with the Fenty Concealer in the number 385, and I'm just going to put a little bit right here, right about right here. The reason I'm doing the concealer method is just because even though my eyebrows are freshly clean, I still like this method, but I also have a little bit of redness from the threading that um, has taken its time to go away. And I just want to clean up um, that discoloration. And I'm just going under, cleaning it up. I don't need a lot of product um, because Fenty, I feel like, is super creamy. And I like that this color. So I wear 385 and the foundation and the concealer. The concealer is a little bit lighter. I know some people go to like 360 or 370 if they are in my shade range. Um, I got the same one because I don't own any concealer other than a Mon that's the closest one to my skin tone. So basically I cleaned it up and then I just bring the concealer down. And then press it into my skin and try to use that as a base. Or if I'm going to wear eyeshadow or whatever. I've been using the Max uh, Soft Ochre, which I love. Um, and then we'll go from there. And then I'll take this one just because it's a little bit darker. And then I will go in with a smaller brush. And then I will sort of create the arch a little bit. And the reason I use this is because I have some breakouts and orange is a uh, orange peachy undertones are a color corrector for me. You see how they already created that arch? That's my technique. And then I use my finger to press it in. And my brows after not doing them for a long time. So they should be extra crispy, but I like to do this because this stops me from um adding more product on my brow later on. I do want to use the Cabrow today to fill in where I'm missing, but I think I'm just going to just use the clear just because um, I already have it in front of me and I did use probably a lot of product. And that's how I do my brows. I've been doing my brows this week probably for a while. Because I have you here, I'm just going to go in. I do have the Kush Brow Gel in um, Dutch. Um, Dutch is like slightly grayish, so whenever I don't like fill my brows in too much, it's more of like a uh, neutral uh, brownish black. Um, I, I realize that I prefer the clear just because I feel like it's a less um, creamy texture and it, it ends up working out just a little bit better. And this is basically how I do my brows almost all the time. I may not use as much product as far as like the actual brow gel, but I think this is a good technique for someone who actually has hairs. Just filling out where you need and not saying that you need to put like a lot. And then I may just add the tail just a little bit um, because I do like a sharp tail. And that guys is how I do my brows. I'm gonna try to chop this video down. Just a little bit. I always feel like I didn't need to do this, but I feel like there is no brow tutorial that is on YouTube for women who have actual hairs and want to make it work and make it look more full without having to add too much product, but using what they have and not feeling like they have to go outside and get anything. So thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.